Dr. Robert Yap, the Chairman of Supply Chain Asia, my good friend Colin, guests, a very good afternoon. I was trying to figure out what I'm going to talk about. I prepared something, but I decided that I better not follow it. <laughs> I should just speak from what I think I should do to talk about Sabah. And don't look at me like any government officers, minister that is here. That really made me feel that I don't fit in here at all. Just think of me like a salesman. <laughs> and hopefully a good one to be here with you. I am happy with this environment, Robert. I think it is good. I really feel comfortable. And when I look around, I'm not the only one that is comfortable. I am trying to figure it out in terms of what it means when you talk about supply chain. And I thought I'll be here talking to a lot of shippers, people in transport business, probably lorry drivers and people who are in some kind of transport business. And I try to look into something more than what we talk about in supply chain. And I'm new in this. Um, Fortunately, it was about more than two years ago when the friends were in Sabah, in Kota Kinabalu, they really gave me a book about supply chain. I don't know whether Dr. Robert remember or not. I've been trying to read that book and make sense out of it. And it's so difficult because when they talk about supply chain in the context of what it is, it is not just about logistics. It's much more than just logistics. And logistics, by its definition alone, doesn't mean just transport and cost. They're basically talking about planning, implementation, coordination of any single business. And if you talk about supply chain being something more than logistics, then I'm trying to find an answer. And it is also in the book that in supply chain, we work with everybody, with people everywhere whether you are customers, consumers, end users, suppliers, or any third parties. All you know, I think, what it all means when you talk about supply chain, it should also include demand chain, end users, and other business. By and large, I think it narrows down to networking. And I thought that I would not be a misfit here if we are talking about networking. And in the book, it says that in the future that will come, business is moving towards a network of networks. I think that's what we are all here for. Something that we can share in a business context. <clears throat> and that, I think, is the reason why I'm here. I have something to share in a business context. And when I heard Paul say that in supply chain we move things, believe me, there's a lot of things in Sabah that I want to move. <laughs> I really need your help. You can come and move quite a lot of things, but not really the mountain. <laughs> it's a huge one. It's the tallest anyway in the region for some of you who have gone up there. And for some of you who are probably doesn't know where Sabah is, <laughs> I'm here too, to tell you where it is. Now, other than the mountain which I can't move, I also can't move the monkeys. <laughs> A lot of people go to um, Sabah, not so much of looking at business, but other than the mountain and the beach and the sea or the gulf, if it's also to look at our monkeys, which is the orangutan, the origin of the orangutan in the island of Borneo. So to start off with, I think where I come from, Sabah, at one time during the British colony is North Borneo. It is the northern part of the big island of Borneo. And we share two of the states in Malaysia, which is Sabah and Sarawak, where about two thirds of it is Kalimantan of Indonesia. But this island is a habitat of these animals, these monkeys. Other than the orangutan, is basically the proboscis monkey. And I, believe, I think a lot of people 
and dignitaries from many parts of the world, especially in the European countries and England, is going all the way 12 hours, 14 hours flying and not looking at business, <coughs> just to look for orang hutan. <laughs> now, news for you, even Prince William and Catherine is going to Sabah as well. <laughs> it's true, they are going next month. And again, it is the orang hutan. <laughs> now, it's very difficult for me to talk about it because that's where the main thing that's happening there is just tourism, we have the beaches and whatnot, it's business as well. But tourism by itself is big business in Sabah. And that is one industry. If there's anything you want to move from there, move people there, for the mountains, or for the beaches, or for the mountain. But today, and looking at time that's allocated to me by Paul, and I understand that it's rather strict on time, it has a lot of discipline and I have none. The fact here that I come to talk to you today is not so much about the monkeys but more about business. And I believe in supply chain by the wider definition and the scope that it would cover. It's basically looking at where within the region you have business opportunities. Am I right? And when I heard from Paul to talk about, sorry, from Robert to talk about not just business within in any singular country, but within the region of Asia. Or in a wider context now, we talk global. And in global with IT, with information technology, the world is basically borderless. And when you do business in any part of the world, and moving resources and selling them without actually being there. And I really believe that because I'm coming to one of the biggest industries that is happening in our side of the world, that is the palm oil industry. The palm oil industry by itself, with the plantations that we have brought around this region, is basically the biggest in the world. And palm oil being developed downstream into various forms of whether it's vegetable oil or all your derivatives into anything that you want to put on your face to look good or vitamins to keep you healthy will originated from the CPO that we have developed in our part of the world. For summer today, it had close to producing 30% of the national production of oil CPO from Malaysia. Within the island of Borneo, just counting Sabah and Sarawak, we are talking about almost going to produce half of the Malaysian production of CPO 